in the remote village of Willowbrook. Hidden amidst the dense forests and rolling hills of the countryside, there stood an old, dilapidated farmhouse known as Hollow Oak Cottage. The villagers whispered tales of its haunting, recounting eerie sightings of shadowy figures moving through the mist-shrouded fields at night. Legend had it that the cottage was once home to the Hawthorne family, who mysteriously vanished without a trace one stormy night over a century ago. Since then, Hollow Oak Cottage had remained abandoned, its weather-beaten walls bearing witness to the passage of time and the secrets it held within. But despite the warnings and superstitions surrounding the cottage, curious travelers and thrill-seekers often dared each other to spend a night within its creaking. Confines eager to uncover the truth behind the whispers that echoed through the halls. One such group of friends, consisting of Sarah, David, and Emily, decided to test their bravery one chilly autumn evening. Armed with flashlights and a sense of adventure, they ventured into the heart of Willowbrook, determined to unravel the mysteries of Hollow Oak Cottage once and for all. As they approached the old farmhouse, a sense of unease washed over them. Amplified by the eerie silence that enveloped the surrounding countryside, the moon cast long shadows across the overgrown lawn, and the faint rustling of leaves seemed to echo like ghostly whispers in the night. Pushing aside their apprehension, the friends cautiously made their way inside the cottage, their footsteps echoing on the creaking floorboards. The air was heavy with the scent of damp wood and decay, and the faint flicker of candlelight danced against the walls, casting eerie shadows that seemed to come alive in the darkness. They explored the abandoned rooms, their flashlights illuminating dust-covered furniture and faded photographs frozen in time. But as the hours passed, a sense of foreboding began to settle over them, as if the very walls of the cottage were closing in around them. Suddenly, a piercing scream shattered the silence, echoing through the halls like a banshee's wail. Sarah, David, and Emily froze in terror, their hearts pounding in their chests as they searched frantically for the source of the sound. But there was no sign of anyone else in the cottage, no trace of the chilling scream that had pierced the night air. Trembling with fear, they huddled together in the darkness, their minds racing with thoughts of the horrors that lurked within the shadows. As the moon dipped below the horizon and the first light of dawn crept through the windows, the friends made a hasty retreat from the cottage, their nerves frayed and their senses heightened by the events of the night. But as they stepped out into the cold morning air, they couldn't shake the feeling that something sinister lingered within the walls of Hollow Oak Cottage, waiting to be unleashed once more. Weeks passed, and the chilling events at Hollow Oak Cottage lingered in the minds of Sarah, David, and Emily. Determined to uncover the truth, they sought guidance from the elderly librarian in the neighboring village of Ashenford. The librarian, known as Mrs. Hawthorne, happened to be a descendant of the family that once inhabited the haunted farmhouse. With a cautious gaze, Mrs. Hawthorne welcomed the trio into her quaint, book-filled cottage. The air was thick with the musty scent of aging paper as she delved into the dusty archives, searching for records of the Hawthorne family's mysterious disappearance. As the pages turned, a tale of tragedy unfolded. The Hawthorns were a once prosperous family known for their enchanting orchards that surrounded Hollow Oak Cottage. Generations of Hawthorns had cultivated the most exquisite apples, their orchards a source of pride and prosperity for Willowbrook. However, one fateful night, a relentless storm swept through the village, unleashing a torrent of rain and lightning. Desperate to protect their precious orchards, the Hawthorns ventured out into the tempestuous night, never to return. Their disappearance remained an unsolved mystery, shrouded in the mists of time. Mrs. Hawthorne, with a quiver in her voice, warned the friends that the spirits of her ancestors were said to roam the countryside, seeking closure for the tragedy that befell them. The spectral figures, she explained, were known to manifest in various forms, sometimes appearing as ghostly shadows in the moonlight, other times as fleeting reflections in mirrors. Intrigued and unnerved, Sarah, David, and Emily embarked on a journey to the nearby village of Whispertown where a renowned paranormal investigator named Professor Jasper Blackwood resided. Professor Blackwood was rumored to have extensive knowledge of supernatural occurrences and a collection of artifacts that could bridge the gap between the living and the spectral realm. The friends found Professor Blackwood's residence, an imposing mansion surrounded by an elaborate wrought iron fence. The air crackled with an otherworldly energy as they approached, and the gates swung open with an eerie creak as if beckoning them into the realm of the unknown. Inside, 
The mansion was filled with an eclectic assortment of ancient tomes, mystical relics, and peculiar artifacts from distant lands. Professor Blackwood, a man with piercing eyes and a demeanor that suggested a lifetime spent unraveling enigmas, greeted the trio. With a mysterious glint in his eye, Professor Blackwood listened intently to their account of the events at Hollow Oak Cottage. He revealed that the supernatural energies surrounding Willowbrook were not limited to the Hawthorne estate but extended to the entire region. Whispers of a forgotten ritual, a key to unlocking the mysteries of the afterlife, began to emerge from the dusty volumes in his possession. Intrigued yet cautious, the friends faced a choice, to delve deeper into the secrets of the past or retreat from the shadows that threatened to consume them. Little did they know that the answers they sought would lead them to a series of interconnected mysteries, weaving a tapestry of the paranormal that transcended time and place, leaving the fate of Willowbrook hanging in the balance. With newfound determination, Sarah, David, and Emily delved into the labyrinthine tapestry of Willowbrook's mysteries. Their quest led them to the village of Moonshade, a place whispered about in hushed tones for its connection to ancient rituals and occult practices. Moonshade was nestled in a valley surrounded by looming cliffs, shrouded in perpetual twilight. The villagers spoke cryptically of an otherworldly ceremony that had taken place centuries ago, leaving an indelible mark on the land. It was said that the ritual sought to bridge the gap between the living and the dead, unlocking a passage to a realm where spirits lingered, yearning for closure. Guided by the enigmatic clues scattered through Moonshade, the trio uncovered a hidden chamber beneath the village chapel. Adorned with mystical symbols and faded murals depicting the very ritual that had long been forgotten, it became evident that the key to unraveling Willowbrook's spectral mysteries lay in reviving this long-lost ceremony. The friends found themselves immersed in a web of ancient lore, collecting artifacts and deciphering cryptic runes to reconstruct the ritual. As they delved deeper, the boundary between the mundane and the supernatural blurred, and the veil separating the living and the dead seemed to thin. In their pursuit of answers, they encountered eccentric characters, each holding a piece of the puzzle. There was Madame Alara, a mysterious fortune teller in the village of Misthaven, who spoke in riddles and warned of the consequences of meddling with forces beyond comprehension. The eccentric inventor, Dr. Archibald Thistlewick, residing in the quirky town of Emberfield, provided arcane contraptions to aid in their spectral exploration. Yet, the friends couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched. Whispers followed them through the ancient forests, and the shadows seemed to stretch and contort in unnatural ways. As they progressed, the line between ally and adversary blurred, leaving them uncertain of who to trust. The trail eventually led to the long-forgotten village of Wraithmere, nestled deep within the heart of the foreboding Shadow Peak Mountains. Wraithmere, abandoned for centuries, was said to have been a gathering place for those attuned to the supernatural, Crumbling ruins and weathered gravestones bore witness to a forgotten past, and an air of desolation hung heavily over the ghostly remnants of what was once a thriving community. The friends discovered an ancient journal in the decaying remnants of Wraithmere, chronicling the experiences of a previous seeker, who had attempted to unravel the mysteries of Willowbrook. The final entries spoke of a spectral convergence, a celestial alignment that would occur once every century, allowing the living to commune with the departed. As the friends deciphered the celestial signs, they realized that the convergence was imminent. The ritual they sought to reconstruct was intricately tied to this cosmic event, and the fate of Willowbrook rested upon their shoulders. The ancient spirits, restless and yearning for resolution, seemed to stir in anticipation, as if the key to their salvation lay in the hands of the living. With the celestial convergence approaching, Sarah, David, and Emily stood at the crossroads of the supernatural facing a choice that would determine the destiny of Willowbrook. Unbeknownst to them, dark forces lurked in the shadows. Ancient entities eager to exploit the ritual for their own nefarious purposes. The tale of Willowbrook's haunted legacy unfolded like a labyrinth of enigmas, drawing the trio deeper into a realm where the boundary between the living and the dead blurred, and the echoes of the past resonated with the present. Little did they know, the climax of their journey awaited on the eve of the celestial convergence, where the threads of destiny would be woven into a tapestry of the supernatural, and the true nature of Willowbrook's haunting would be laid bare. On the eve of the celestial convergence, the air in Willowbrook became charged with an otherworldly energy. The sky darkened as the cosmic forces aligned, 
casting an eerie glow upon the desolate landscapes. Sarah, David, and Emily stood before the reconstructed ritual site in the heart of Wraithmere, the ancient stones resonating with a spectral hum. As the trio initiated the long-forgotten ceremony, a surge of ethereal energy enveloped them. Shadows danced in twisted patterns, and a chorus of distant whispers echoed through the mountains. The celestial convergence unleashed a spectral vortex, tearing through the fabric of reality, and the veil between the living and the dead began to unravel. Unbeknownst to the friends, dark entities, drawn by the power of the ritual, slithered forth from the hidden corners of the supernatural realm. Malevolent spirits, hungry for the life force of the living, materialized in grotesque forms, their ghastly wails drowning out the echoes of the past. In the midst of the chaos, the spirits of the Hawthorne family, long trapped in the limbo between worlds, manifested before the friends. Their hollow eyes bore the weight of centuries, and a melancholic air surrounded them. The family's tragic fate unfolded as a spectral projection, a heartbreaking to blow of the stormy night when they ventured into the tempest and vanished. Without a trace, the friends, caught in the maelstrom of the spectral convergence, found themselves entwined with the tormented spirits. Sarah, David, and Emily felt the anguish of the Hawthorns coursing through their veins, their memories merging with those of the long-lost family. The boundaries of individuality blurred, and the line between the living and the dead became a tenuous thread on the verge of snapping. As the ritual reached its zenith, a piercing scream tore through the spectral symphony. The trio, now mere echoes of their former selves, realized that the price of unraveling Willowbrook's mysteries was the sacrifice of their own existence. The dark entities, having fed on the life force of the living, reveled in the chaos they had unleashed. In the aftermath of the spectral convergence, the landscape of Willowbrook changed. The ancient forests whispered tales of tragedy, the hills bore witness to the vanishing of souls, and the once quiet villages echoed with the anguished cries of spirits condemned to wander for eternity. Willowbrook became a ghostly realm, forever haunted by the tragedies of its past. The once vibrant villages now lay in silent ruin, the only remnants of their existence etched in the memories of the departed. The friends, now indistinguishable from the spirits they sought to free, wandered the desolate landscapes, their voices lost in the endless echoes of sorrow. The tale of Willowbrook became a cautionary legend, a warning to those who dared to unravel the mysteries of the supernatural. The celestial convergence, once a beacon of hope, had become a harbinger of tragedy, and the once thriving region faded into obscurity, its secrets buried in the ruins of a bygone era. And so, the haunted legacy of Willowbrook endured, a tragic symphony echoing through the annals of time, forever entwining the destinies of the living and the dead in a sorrowful dance of eternal twilight.